Hi, I'm Chef Rafael. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Chef Rafael. Today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious pasta dish, but I've topped it up with a chicken schnitzel. This recipe, I'm actually showing you how to make it on a pan. It's really simple and delicious. Let's get started and you see how simple it is to make it. So welcome to the show and if you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing so that you're actually notified whenever I have a new recipe out and hit the bell button. Actually with the bell button is when you actually get the notification either on email or on your device. Now um, today's recipe, the ingredients, we have the breadcrumbs and then we have all purpose flour. I have some milk with one egg. Now this will be, uh, whenever you're uh, having a breadcrumbed uh, dish, you need the wet ingredient. And now to this, I'll actually add some mustard. So the mustard flavor in the chicken. So and then we have the chicken breast and then uh, salt and pepper and the pasta that I'm going to use today is the linguine and then for the tomato sauce I'm using the, the olive with tomatoes with tomatoes this is really delicious it has a nice olive flavor because they're actually real olives um, and they will go together as a dish so let's season the breadcrumb you actually need to season everything so I'll use salt on the breadcrumb I'll also season the chicken but before that I'll pound it so salt and pepper, and the flour, and the breadcrumb. I also what I have to make it look nicer and have a nice uh, um, color is I'll add some chopped parsley. That's optional. So now the fact what I want to do is actually pound the chicken. You actually want it to be a thin, not so thick in terms of a piece of chicken. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you'll have to actually cook it in the oven. So basically what you want is to have a flat piece, an evenly thick piece. So I'm going to season it now, salt and pepper on both sides. Just shake off the excess flour, then dip it in the egg with the mustard, now because I'm using one piece it's always good to know that you need one dry hand, one wet hand, so so dip it like that, make sure it's fully coated, and then once again you shake off the excess and then into the breadcrumbs. That's why you need the second hand, which is dry. And for now, I'm actually going to use one. My bone is a little bit small, just to make sure that it's covered. Like that. Now, to make the coating even um, become thick and even to have a crispier chicken it's always a good idea to dip it back to the egg like that I'll change my hand to the wet hand take off the excess and then back to the breadcrumb So the idea is to make sure that all the whole piece is covered with uh, 
breadcrumb. So I'll leave it like that and then I'll clear my area and then we'll cook the chicken. Um, and then I'll also remove, I'll check on my pasta so that if it's cooked, I'll also put it aside. You need to bring everything together. Put a little bit of oil and wait for it to be hot. Now you can always cook this in the oven. Um, I've actually done a, a, um, a recipe similar to this one where I was using an air fryer. Um, so if you're cooking it on a pan, which is now what I will do, make sure it's hot like that and then place it So the idea is to cook it until it's cooked halfway on the chicken, halfway inside, and then flip it to cook on the other side, and then it will be ready. Now when doing this, you have to be very careful from, um, uh, for the breadcrumb not to brown, over brown or basically burn. Um, that's why you need to be monitoring it, medium to high heat. The moment it's already brown, it's nice and brown, then you, don't, you can actually reduce the heat so that you give time for it to cook on the inside of the chicken. Now a piece like this, and that's why in fact we were actually pounding it, um, a piece like this can take um, about three minutes on each side. So when the liquid comes coming out is clear, then that chicken is ready. If it's pink, it's not yet ready. Now pan is hot, take the um, now that's the sound you want to hear whenever you're opening up a new can, uh, that popping sound. I'm going to put the tomato sauce with olives. So this is a ready-made sauce. And then you pour in the linguine. So all I need to do right now is to mix it into the sauce while slowly heating it up. Now a good um, pasta should not be very wet. Um, if you need to add some water to this, you can add the water that you used uh, to cook the pasta with. So this is good. Now I'm going to serve it. Um, I'm actually turning it off. What is left is to cut the chicken. So the idea is to cut it into strips. Now this is a big piece. You can see the inside is fully cooked. It's not pink. It's also juicy. Um, whenever you're cooking pasta, you should cook it and serve it immediately because what pasta tends to do is soak up the liquid um, uh, whether it's the sauce or whatever liquid it has and it will soak it up because it's actually made of flour so um, this is something that you prepare and serve immediately and enjoy when it's hot and I hope something new you've done today I've showed you how to make the chicken schnitzel or um, it's also called, called a Milanese chicken but um, it's simple to make, it's delicious, especially with the pasta, and I hope you'll enjoy yours. And until next time, I'm signing out. Bye.